Hi, this is Nicole Lee with Help Beauty and More. Um, if you open your mouth and you have amalgams in there, and I don't have many, maybe. A few. But I wish I could afford to take them out, really, because I'm just reading this thing and. Um, why you should replace those dental am amalgam fillings and how every day the mercury vapors are going into our bloodstream and our lungs every day. You know, and, and I think that's why I have hypersalivation a lot of times, which is a good thing in a way that, you know, I won't get teeth tooth decay, but it's also a pain in the, you know what. So, okay. 40 micrograms of mercury vapor per day, depending on the factors such as the number of fillings and the filling size and whether you grind your teeth, which and I have historically done that. So the, then, then the, you get the FDA saying that they're safe. Do you want to put your faith in the FDA or in the evidence that is done through... through um, research such as natural health 365 uh, in this case so they're they're uh, they're encouraging you to release mercury vapors the fda that's the food and drug administration they don't care they want they want us to go to the doctors they want us to have to spend more money eh? they want us to get sick i guess it it's just crazy so I want to protect myself from mercury vapors I don't know about you but I've gotten all but those two little ones out and it's just so expensive every time you get a quote from the dentist and usually I don't like to go unless I have to go to the dentist you know who, who likes spending that kind of money or having to run up your credit card like that you know it's crazy we have enough issues as it is to have to go to doctors, chiropractors, optometrists, you know, the whole thing. So, I mean, unless you live in Mexico where you can get it done really cheap and face um, the criminal activities at the border, what are you going to do? I've had to live with it myself, and I don't want to, but um, if you know somebody that will volunteer to take those feelings out for me uh, let let me know I, I would love to know <laughs> anyway I said I thought this might be important enough to tell you about because amalgams are in a lot of people's mouth especially my age from the baby boomers age uh, that's what they did and I ate a lot of candy as a kid and I'd go in with five cavities sometimes maybe more my sister probably had ten she was a sugar tooth person, you know, had sweet tooth and didn't brush her teeth properly. Well, you know how kids are. And back then, that uh, th that was before, I think they don't think they even had fluoride in the toothpaste at that time. And that's another thing that they push fluoride as FDA says that's okay. And it's terrible. That's what they're using the Nazi Germany to, to quiet down the the uh, population so that Hitler would have more control over everyone so fluoride is contaminating your nervous system your brain and your thinking your cognitive abilities and I don't want that in my system either I just turned off um, getting non fluoridated water brought to my house just because I need to save some money and you know what the representative told me? He said, do you know that the homeless wash their hair in those um, those places where Culligan and some of the other companies have provide water for a quarter instead of me paying $16 or more per uh, bottle or per period when they bill me? And quarters, you know, and it goes a long way. It's just you have to cart it over. But... It's one way to save money, but I don't. I don't I'm gonna. I'm gonna bring some handy wipes or um, sanitizing stuff if that, if that's really true. Because this representative said he's never seen those machines being cleaned ever. I always wondered about that. 
I mean, they do provide those um, handy wipes for carts when you go grocery shopping, and outside the grocery store they have the, the machines, so there's no reason why you can't just clean it off and get 99% of the germs out. Because I don't think people are going to stick their fingers up the, um, the spout, but might as well clean it before you put it in a bottle. And it doesn't touch the bottle, I don't believe. In my case, uh, the bottles are lowered. So do whatever you think is right for you. But I'm just giving you a few tips. for the Happy holidays. Have a wonderful uh, turkey day and Christmas after that. And be really careful. Don't go where there's a lot of crowds. You know, there's a lot of activity going on in some people that are copycat, uh, bombers and stuff. And we don't need... To we don't need to have any interruptions. President says, oh, there's no activity planned. And I think, oh, does he have a crystal ball? <laughs> he knows. He's a fortune teller. He can read people's minds now. Oh, boy. Happy holidays, you guys. Take care. And please subscribe. I can use some more subscribers. Thank you. Bye-bye now. Take care. Nicole Lee with Health, Beauty, and More.